Now, Project 4 Missing Children, the case of two Jacksonville boys who vanished eight years ago. Whenever a child is reported missing, police say it is vitally important to get the word out as quickly as possible. The disappearance of middle school students Mark Degner and Brian Hayes did not get news coverage until a week later. Channel 4's Melanie Lawson talked with Mark Degner's mother about the agony of not knowing. Linda Allagood still wonders what would have happened if only police released to the media her boys were missing within those first 24 hours. It took so long because the boys left on their own. What happened after that, Linda is convinced, was not their own decision. It was eight years ago this mother saw her son for the last time. 12-year-old Mark Degner and 13-year-old Brian Hayes just walked away from Paxson Middle School on February 10th, 2005. Mark's mom, Linda Allagood, thought by now she'd know something about his whereabouts. It gets harder every year because, you know, you have a, you, you still, you, you never look, give up hope. You always hope one day that he's just going to come home and say, I'm okay. It took police a full week to announce the boys were missing because they first believed the two had just run away. Linda always thought there was more to it. The thing I never want to think about is I honestly think they got into a vehicle with somebody they thought they might have known or tricked them into getting into the vehicle. A gnawing pain that's always there, especially when other children go missing. When Cherish Periwinkle disappeared and was found dead, she felt the pain. And when missing children are found alive, it gives her hope. It's a constant emotional roller coaster. It gives me hope that maybe this could be me, you know, maybe not right away, but years down the line, maybe this could be me that he's, he's safe and he's actually, I'll actually see him one day. It's a, a never ending nightmare. You wake up with it, you go to bed with it because you don't know if they're out there hungry. You don't know if they're out there stranded somewhere. You don't know if they're begging for help somewhere. And that, that last voice that you heard is still ringing in your ears. Ann Duggar with the Justice Coalition works with the parents living the nightmare. As an advocate, she tries to have hope, just like these parents, that one day they'll get some answers. Those boys didn't go missing that day without somebody knowing about it. Those boys today, somebody knows the information that could bring those, those young men home and let those mamas know that their babies are okay. Linda says it was especially difficult when these age progression pictures came out several years ago, showing what the boys would look like as young adults. I could have lost it. That could have been him, you know. I still find myself looking, you know, even though it may not be him. I still find myself taking a second glance. She wants her son to know if he's out there, if he's watching. You're 21 years old this year. Um, we still miss you. We still love you. I mean, you're my child no matter how old you get. You know, just call, you know, say, hey, mom, I love you. I'm okay. Ann Duggar said they still get leads every now and then. People who think they spotted the boys, but nothing substantial has ever surfaced. It's still a mystery as to where they are and what took place that afternoon back in 2005. Melanie Lawson, Channel 4, The Local Station. Now take a look at these age progress photos of Mark Degner and Brian Hayes. If you have any information on these missing boys, you're asked to call 1-800-THE-LOST. That is 1-800-843-5678. We'll focus on another missing child on our Project 4 series coming up just a few minutes before 7 o'clock. Also, our Project 4 Missing Children Day continues all new at 6.30 with a story every parent wants to see, the signs your child is a potential runaway, and resources for parents to help keep their kids from taking off.